Raider Nation, we got some breaking news here. It's Mitchell Renz from the Raiders Report, and the Las Vegas Raiders are hiring Cliff Kingsbury as their next offensive coordinator. <laughs> Let's freaking go, man! This is what I love to see. I was super excited. This has been the number one candidate for a long time. If you have watched the show, even over the last two, three weeks, you'll know that I wanted Cliff Kingsbury to be the Las Vegas Raiders OC. And coming up on today's show, I'm going to get into everything that you need to know around Cliff. What does that mean for the Raiders quarterback? What does that mean for the Raiders offense going forward? If you want even more videos, I put out a mock draft a few days ago based on when Cliff Kingsbury was going to be named as the OC. But I got to know from the nation right now, what is your one-word reaction to the Raiders hiring Cliff Kingsbury? We got over 600 people here in the building and I don't know about you man I'm ready to turn the hell up I am ready to celebrate we've been talking about fixing this Raiders offense this is the perfect hire for Antonio Pierce this is the perfect hire to be able to fix a lot of the issues that we have had with our offense and I got a rock a first time jersey shout out to horse beer also had a rep number 58 for AP I see a lot of dope from Jose Cologne let's go from Aja impressive from Justin Black Felix Clinton says, let's go. Voila from Gabriel Sanz. Remember, if you want to get those questions, comments here on the show, and every time somebody sends in a one hundo, we are banging. I'm knocking back a beer bong. Hey, man, I am here to celebrate. I am here to celebrate the Raiders hiring Cliff Kingsbury. First Super Chats rolling in from Daryl. Love the hire. Let's get the QB. Can't go AOC. I agree. To me, this means you're either trading up for one of the top three quarterbacks in the NFL draft or you're going to end up deciding to trade for a guy like Justin Fields. That's what this tells me right now with Cliff Kingsbury. Ryan Bass, LFG Raiders 2024. I also saw Russell Myers, the Super Chat, said, do you think that the players would take a team-friendly deal and how would it impact the salary to bring players back? There will be some players that end up taking a team-friendly deal. And I know a lot of people think, oh, no, the Raiders, by them bringing in Cliff Kingsbury, this is Bon Voyage for Josh Jacobs. That's not necessarily too true. I know that you think of Air Raid for Cliff, and he's going to throw the ball down the field. They're going to add some speed to the receivers. But Cliff Kingsbury also ran the football a shit ton at Arizona like two out of the two two years when he was there they were top 10 in rushing attempts they are going to run the football but this is why you subscribe anytime breaking news happens man I was getting ready I put on my backpack I was getting ready to leave and then guess what breaking news happened my promise is this you're not always going to agree with everything that I say that's friendship that's family that's how it goes but I got that commitment to excellence to each and every one of y'all to the 1,300 people that as soon as the breaking news happened, they go, I want to hang out with Mitch. I want to hang out with Chugs. I want to hang out with the entire chat sports teams and talk about this. This is what this thing's all about. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you got those notifications turned on because I know you what, man. I am ready to turn up. So here's my question. Cliff Kingsbury's the Raiders OC. Who should be the Raiders quarterback now? Do you want it to be Caleb Williams? Do you want it to be Justin Fields? Do you want it to be... Aiden O'Connell, maybe it's Jaden Daniels, maybe it's somebody like Kirk Cousins, Russell Wilson. Who do you want the Raiders quarterback to be now that we finally know that Cliff Kingsbury is the Raiders OC? And coming up here, we'll go through all the news. We'll go through everything that you need to know about the silver and black hiring Kingsbury. I'm here to turn up. If anybody wants to turn up with me, you already know. You already know. What up, Daryl? He's going to go with Jaden Daniels, Michael Penix Jr. from Vincenzo. Caleb Williams from David Blues, Daniels from Sure for Alex Gorderer, Nico Laz need that guy that can throw the ball a lot. Oh, we're going to be slinging it. We're going to have a fun offense this year, man. I can't wait. Jaden Daniels now rolling in here from Panda, Luke Nugent, Ken Kenyon. What's up, Ken Kenyon? Prince Vlad going to go Daniel. Sienna, what's up, Sienna? Jaden, I mean, I'm seeing a lot of Jaden Daniels flowing in here right now. Let's go to Knight. What up, Knight? What type of offense does Cliff run? Air Raid. He runs an air raid, but he's going to run the football on top of that. Like, to me, when you look at an offensive coordinator like Cliff, who has head coaching experience, who has been able to build solid offenses, and he's been able to work with a lot of very talented quarterbacks. Caleb Williams, he's worked with uh, Baker Mayfield. He's worked with Patrick Mahomes. Like, if you're trying to supplant Patrick Mahomes, why not try to find a guy that's worked with somebody, right? Like, Caleb Williams has reminded people of Mahomes. I'm not necessarily saying that, that is the truth, but all I know is this, ma'am. 
Cliff Kingsbury, Raiders OC. I am one happy, happy individual right now. I don't know if you could tell. You know who else is a happy individual? Patrick B. Bang! Let's go, Patrick B. If you're excited that the Raiders hired Cliff Kingsbury, who's banging with me today? Everyone, Hundo, I'm doing a beer bong. I'm taking this back to my Oakland days. Let's go. Let's party it up. Chugs, if you can, I know you're one crazy man back there right now. If you could give some shout outs, if not, it's all good to everybody. What up? Everybody spamming Patrick B. Everybody spamming Bang. I'm going to knock this back, and then I'd like to be able to get into our cut here around the Raiders hiring Cliff Kingsbury. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's go. I see Sienna, Barlow, Rob. I see. Who else do I see? Let's go. Buzzomatic, Santiago, Saul, Yay uh, Area Raider, keep them coming. Let's go. Let's go. I am freaking hype, man. I am freaking hype. This to me is an aggressive move, right? Like the Raiders were worried about bringing in Antonio Pierce, first time GM, and Tom Telesco. But why this is smart is because you give somebody who, this is the truth with Cliff Kingsbury, he might not have been the best head coach, but he's got the offensive mind. He's going to be creative enough. But to me, you bring somebody in now that can just handle the offensive side of the football. Hey, Cliff, handle the offensive side of the football. And I think the Raiders are also going to bring in a guy like Hugh Jackson, who, again, not the best head coach, but does have some serious qualifications to be able to build a really good offensive unit. And then you can hand the offense off to those guys. You let AP, you let Patrick Graham do their thing on the defensive side of the football. I love the Antonio Pierce hire because that's a guy that motivates people. That's a guy that gets people like Cliff, like Hugh Jackson, like Marvin Lewis, all these people to say, you know what, I want to be a part of that. There's no God complex. I didn't like Josh McDaniels because it was all about me, 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 me. I didn't like the fact that he tried to handle everything. I didn't like that John Gruden didn't try to handle anything. You know what a real man does? Says, you know what, I'm okay taking a little bit off my plate if it means I'm going to get a better overall product. And that's what the Raiders are doing here. The Antonio Pierce to outsiders might not be the sexy pick. You know what is going to be sexy? Bringing a title back to Las Vegas because I don't even want to think about the Chiefs. I don't even want to think about the 49ers. But if I'm the Las Vegas Raiders and I'm seeing those two teams play in my stadium in the biggest game of the year, this is the type of move that is a home run swing that the Las Vegas Raiders needed. The only way you're taking down Patrick Mahomes is with a home run swing. The only way that you're going to compete in the AFC, which is loaded with talent. I'm talking Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I'm, think, I'm, I'm missing so many big-time QBs. Is with a home run swing. Not Aiden O'Connell. It's not going to be with a guy like Jimmy Garoppolo. It's definitely not going to be with a guy like Brian Hoyer. You bring in a guy like Cliff, to me this says this, I'm going all in. And anytime you're in Vegas, man, you got to go all in at least one time. And that's what the Las Vegas Raiders are doing here with Cliff Kingsbury. Is there a script? No. It is presented by Eight Sleep, and that's going to be in the first seven minutes on top of that. What's up, Miguel? Give me Daniels or Fields. Left effing go. Bro, I'm telling you right now, I'm in. If you told me right now we're getting either Caleb Williams, Drake May, Jaden Daniels, or Justin Fields, I'm okay with it. This screams training up for a quarterback. Let's go, Mitch. Luke, you're damn right it does. You're damn right it does. Joshi, I used to pray for times like this. I am from Pennsylvania. I am a big Meek Mill fan, but I pray for times like this because I love hanging out with each and every one of y'all. We got 2,200 people pulling up right now. Imagine. Imagine 2,200 Raider fans in one spot right now hooting and hollering together. I know some of y'all are probably watching this at home. I know some of y'all are probably hanging out with maybe two or three people. But here on the Raiders report, we get down Oakland style, okay? Every single time somebody sends in a one hundo, I'm not the only one doing a beer bong. Y'all are doing it too. I'll tell you this. If you've ever been to Oakland, you've ever been to a Raiders party in general, I know this. Not one person's drinking by himself, and I ain't doing that tonight either. Let's go to Zach. My birthday isn't till tomorrow, but love this gift. Happy birthday to you, and happy birthday to Justin Avgin, who it's his birthday today as well. Happy birthday to Mount Raidermore. Victor. Victor, yeah, it's, uh, I've seen a lot of profile pics in my day. That's Maybe you shouldn't get a picture. <laughs> um, Cliff under 
aided signing, he's going to change things. I think Cliff being just controlled a little bit and not having the I'm going to be the man in charge of everything head coach mentality and I'm only going to focus on the offensive side of the football, this is good stuff here. What up, Glad the Winnie the Pooh? I don't think I've experienced vibes this high as a Raider fan ever. As of right now, grade A offseason. Let's get our quarterback of the future. You can't give it an A until you find out the quarterback. Jeremy and I want to know, where are you watching from right now? And for anybody that was watching our live show, which we ended about an hour ago, uh, spoiler alert, this was the news that we were going to talk about tomorrow. And I'll kind of get into the ins and outs of how we knew that Cliff Kingsbury was going to be the Raiders OC today on our show. And if you were watching earlier on our live show, Patrick B. sent in a $20 super chat, asked us about Clint Kubiak, asked us about OC. I will tell you how we knew three hours ago that Cliff Kingsbury was going to be the Raiders offensive coordinator. All right, where are we watching from right now? I got San Diego from Saul, Red Eye Nation, Disco Bay. Ba, ba, ba. What up, Oscar from Vegas, San Antonio, Texas, Tom Davis, Delaware, I oh, oh, wow, Ohio. Oh, oh. Bakersfield, we got, let's Keep see, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Pleasant Grove, Huntsville, Omaha, Montana, Boise, Carrollton, Kentucky, Scottsdale, Riverdale, California. Where are you at? Reno, East L.A., Show up, let's go! Fresno, Sacramento, Modesto, California, Oak Town, Bay Area, baby! Let's go, Portland, man. Sandpoint, Escalon, California, Vegas, Phoenix, Arizona. I know that's not everybody. Where are you at? Where are you watching from right now? Let Pull us up. know! Pull up right now. We're going to keep rolling through some supers. And Woo! when you're ready to get into the news here, we'll get our cut going. And then... We can turn this thing into an absolute shit show. I'm just telling you right now, if y'all want to party, we can party. If y'all want to party, we can party. Savage Raider, most important salute to Raider Nation. This is the first time since Mark has been in charge that I feel like it's a damn good job. There's a lot of things going in the right direction. There, there is absolutely, and I think for the first time, Mark's listening to his players. For the first time, Mark is listening to his staff. Mark is listening to other people that I don't think Mark should be listening to, right? Antonio Pierce is a leader of men. Let's get that straight. Antonio Pierce is a leader, and when you have a leader at the top, people want to follow that, and then that becomes contagious. I love what the Raiders are doing, but until you find your franchise quarterback, I'm going to pump the brakes on this because, hey, man, I'm pumped, man. You guys know I hate him, McDaniel. What up, Summit? Raider fan living in KC sucks, but this has me super pumped for the first time in a while. Raiders! Adrian. Raider Nation, hope we can find our quarterback this coming draft. You and me both, my man. Now, let's get aggressive. B-E aggressive. Go up, get your QB in the top three. George, how do I get on the show? Let's go just, Raiders. Just like that? Just like that, my man, George. Just like that, George. Mo. Mo. I used to hate having season tickets when McDaniels was there. Now I can't freaking wait till the season opener. Bro, I'm telling you the same thing. I can't wait for the season opener as well. And if anybody doesn't know this already, oh man, that one hurt. Chugs and I, we're actually going to be out in Vegas for the big game on February 11th. And if anybody's like, Mitch, I don't got any plans. I'm going to be in Vegas. I don't want to watch the Chiefs. I don't want to watch the 49ers game alone. I hear you, bro. Well, how about this? We're going to be live at the Ahern Hotel in Las Vegas. And if this event goes well, Okay, is if this event goes well, we're going to be able to go out there every single week next year, every single week next year. I'm excited for it. And I hope that all of y'all decide to pull up and watch it with us. And if you don't know, I'll put the link for you guys right now down in the comments. If you want to pull up, reserve your tickets right now. It's ninety nine dollars for all you can eat, all you can drink. It's at that link right there. I'll tell you this, you're not going to find a better deer out there. Hundred, yeah, I know. 99 for all you can eat, all you can drink. We're going to have the games on. You're going to be able to join Chugs and I. If you like what we do here, it's going to be the exact same thing, but for the big game itself. And I don't want the Chiefs to win. I don't want the Niners to win. At the end of the day, I just want to be able to hang out with the nation, have a good time. Chatsports.com slash big game the link is available to all of y'all down in the comments down in the description of today's show go to that link down there below to reserve your spot or if you're like mitch i'm not gonna pay money you don't have to it's free to attend 
I just say if you want all you can eat food, all you can drink, and to guarantee yourself a spot, that's when you have to reserve your seat. It is 100% free to attend. Is it free? Is it like good for all ages? Yes. If you allow your son, daughter to watch the Raiders report, you'll have, they should be allowed to come in as well. Luke, Oakland style, just win, baby. So far, today's MVP is Patrick B. Who else is going to bang here with Patrick B? Muerte. <laughs> you already know Muerte. What up, Drew? Coronas and Patron, let's effing go. What are you drinking on right now? What are you sipping on right now? I got a bunch of happy dads. Technically, I'm rocking some happy moms. I'm rocking some happy moms because I know there's a lot of happy moms out there. Happy, a lot of happy Raider moms out there. Cliff Kingsbury. Cliff Kingsbury. I've heard he's a handsome fella. What up, Ace? I used to pray for times like this. Raider Nation, stand the F up, Barber. With this hire, do you think Josh Jacobs is out? I don't think that necessarily. Like, people have got to realize Cliff Kingsbury did run the football a lot, right? He, he ran the football. He was top 10 in rushing when he was the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. I think people just think of air raid, and they don't necessarily think that you're going to run. Yeah, you're going to throw it down the field, but it's also a lot of screens, and it's also a lot of running on top of that. George, when I said get on the show, I meant via video chat. Oh, well. If you come to the event in Vegas, you'll be able to come on the show. Like, literally, like, stand here. We'll do a beer bong together. All good in the hood. All good. What's up? Keep it rolling, man, here on the show. Rock and jock party. This staff is stacked. Time to trade for number one. Time to trade for number one. Twinkie, a quarterback away from a Super Bowl title. I do think that the Raiders are a quarterback away from being a legit Super Bowl contender. And if that's a crazy thing to say, then you didn't watch the Raiders' defense last season. With Antonio Pierce, with Patrick Graham, the number one defense over the final nine games of the season. They allowed 16 points per game, and they barely spent any money on the defensive side of the football. I'm ready. I'm ready to compete legitimately, like honestly legitimately compete with the Kansas City Chiefs of the world, with the 49ers of the world, with the Baltimore Ravens of the world. I'm going to say Detroit Lions because they made it as well. And you're a quarterback away. Yeah, it's scary trading up for a top QB. But you know what? As we know, in the first round, nothing's guaranteed anyway. Sometimes you got to sack up. Big money. I want to go get it. Scared money, don't make money. And I'm here to make some money on the Raiders report. And I'm here for a Super Bowl championship. You ready? Coming up right now, the breaking news around Cliff Kingsbury. Raider Nation, what's going on? It's Mitchell Renz here, host of the Raiders Sport, with some breaking news. The Las Vegas Raiders have hired Cliff Kingsbury to be their OC. And I know this, I'm going to be sleeping great tonight. Even better because of our awesome sponsor, 8sleep. And if any of y'all are like, Mitch, I need to improve my sleep as well. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports. $200 off the pod cover. That link's going to be available to y'all down in the comments, down in the description of today's show. I don't know about y'all. When I sleep with my fiance, Alex, she likes it hot. This thing can get up to 110 degrees. It can also get down to as low as 55 degrees. So, man, I'm live here on the Raiders Report. If you don't already know, pull up right now. But the breaking news is now officially official. Cliff Kingsbury has been the front runner, and if you've watched this show over the last two weeks, you'll know that I have had Cliff ranked as my number one OC candidate. I have had him ranked number one as the most likely to join this gig. Why? If you follow the tea leaves where there's smoke, there's fire, and there has been so much freaking smoke around Kingsbury, the former USC quarterback coach, the former Arizona Cardinals head coach, the former Texas Tech head coach, joining the silver and black. And for the Raiders here, man, this is the move of, I'm going for a home run swing. When you hire a dude like Cliff Kingsbury, this is, I'm going all in for a home run swing. I'm trading up to get a QB, or you're going to settle on somebody like Justin Fields. And if those are our options, I am freaking in, man. So in terms of the reports leading the Kingsbury to LV, there were multiple reports back on January 15th. Raiders linked to Cliff Kingsbury. Came from Colin Coward. Came from a guy like Albert Breer. All that started to pile on. Then I said, remember, the Raiders, it really looks like they're looking for coaches that have also been players. They want to be able to have that conversation. And I get that from a player standpoint. Does this guy, has he ever been in my shoes? People don't realize it, but yes, Cliff Kingsbury was in his shoes. Did he play a lot? No, not really. But still, five seasons in the NFL with the teams that you see listed below, that's something that the Raiders are looking for. Then when you continue to look and look forward here, 
when you see that it said, I have a source that told me Cliff Kingsbury is his likely OC that he gets the job. This is from Colin Coward all the way back on January 15th. Then Albert Breer also says Kingsbury is a Raiders OC candidate. And for anybody that watched our show live today, which we always go live on Thursday, 4 p.m. Eastern time, Jeremy and I said we have some information that we can't quite share with you right now, but now we're just going to be able to air it all out there. So, like, we knew that the Raiders were going to hire Cliff Kingsbury to be their next OC because we know that the Washington Commanders, they're going to end up hiring Clint Kubiak to be their OC. So as soon as the Raiders found that information out, they said, well, I'm not going to wait around two weeks anymore. I'm just going to go with Cliff. Now, I still think that Cliff probably would have got the job anyway, but the reason why the Raiders waited and waited and waited and waited was because they couldn't interview Clint. As soon as they found out that Kubiak's going to take that OC job for the Commanders, and that information has not been put out there, but bet on it right now. I'm telling you right now, Clint Kubiak, OC of the Washington Commanders. He's going to join his old buddy, Dan Quinn. The Kubiak, the Shanahan ties, there are really, really deep ties. And, well, if you don't know, Jeremy's uh, family, I could say it, right? Jeremy's family is connected to the Kubiak family. So all I'm saying is this. As soon as the Raiders found that out, it was a done deal. Cliff Kingsbury to Las Vegas. So I got to know, what is your one-word reaction to the Raiders hiring Kingsbury? What is it, man? One-word reaction. Is it stoked? Is it hyped? I know what my one-word reaction is. My one-word reaction to Cliff Kingsbury being hired is, Venom Sosa, what's up? That's not my one word. My one word is compete, Super Bowl. Like, that's my mindset right now. Home run is another one word. This is the type of move that I'm happy that the Raiders ended up doing because at the end of the day, the Raiders wanted to be able to say, all right, hey, Antonio Pierce, you stay on one side of the football. Hey, Patrick Graham, you guys worry about one thing. I want to bring somebody in and I can let them concentrate on the offensive side of the football. It's a beautiful Beautiful thing. Now, Kingsbury is coaching experience. Started at Houston. They like to chuck the rock. Texas A&M, OC and quarterback coach. Texas Tech, head coach from 2013 to 2018. Arizona, head coach from 2019 to 2023. USC, quarterback coach, 2023. That present, no longer present. I'm also going to tell you another person that the Raiders might end up hiring on the offensive side of the football. But before I do... Oh, man, shout out to our brand new sponsor, 8sleep. And I am so excited about 8sleep because anytime I'm on social media and I see a product and I'm like, dude, that product is freaking awesome. And what's crazy is, I mean, it's just me being real with you. When a company like this reaches out to me, I'm like, dude, that's insane. I was just looking at your product and now you want to sponsor the Raiders Sport. It's insane. But today's episode is brought to you by 8sleep, the high-tech solution to your age-old sleeping issues. 8sleep's Pod 3 cover slips right over your mattress, bringing heating and cooling tech that keeps you comfortable and sleeping deeper for a better, more restful night. I love 8sleep because it has totally stopped my night sweats. I like to snuggle with my dog Chuck, but homie is like a heater. Thanks to 8sleep, I don't wake up sweating and get a better night's sleep. The pod cover will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover can be added to any bed like a fitted sheet and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your side of the bed as low as 55 degrees and up to 110 degrees. In addition to keeping you at the perfect temperature all night, the pod also tracks your sleep and health metrics. On average, pod users see their sleep quality improve by 32% after just a month on the pod. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports and get $200 off plus free shipping on the pod cover by 8sleep. Start the new year right and invest in the rest you deserve with the 8 Sleep Pod. So, Nation, go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports. That link's going to be available to you all down in the comments, down in the description of today's show. So, if you're wondering, Mitch, who are some quarterbacks that Cliff has worked with? Well, here are four names, right? He has worked with Kyler Murray. He has worked with Baker Mayfield. He has worked with Patrick Mahomes. He has worked with Caleb Williams. If you're the Las Vegas Raiders and you go, well, wait a minute here. Patrick Mahomes has been dominating the AFC West. He's been dominating the AFC. How can I find somebody that can compete with him? Why not go out and try to find a dude that's already worked with him? Oh, wait. If the Raiders want to go up and potentially trade for Caleb Williams, who Cliff Kingsbury worked this past year, oh, wait. Cliff Kingsbury, Caleb Williams, if you remember, they were linked together. And what's funny about the NFL, and I'm a big believer that smoke, fire, you guys know if you watch the show, the day that Cliff Kingsbury was rumored to the Raiders, a few hours later, 
Caleb Williams declares for the 2024 NFL Draft. It was about three hours apart. That is something that I think about. But if you're the Raiders and you're like, could I potentially trade up to number one, why not try to draft a guy like Caleb that's been comped to Patrick Mahomes? I'm not saying he's going to be Patrick Mahomes. Matt, Patrick Mahomes might be the best quarterback that's ever stepped on the planet. But you've got to be able to find somebody that gives you a chance to at least compete with somebody like that. On top of that, and I said this during the intro press conference that Antonio Pierce and Tom Telesco had, Kingsbury was rumored to LV, which we talked about. LV requested to interview Cliff Kingsbury. Then if you listen to what Antonio Pierce said, right? When you listen to what AP said, it really led me to believe, like, dude, this is going to be Kingsbury that ends up getting this job. Not only has he worked with great quarterbacks, not only are the Raiders hiring players slash coaches, but AP wanted a teacher at OC. And to me, when you think about what a teacher is, it's also in the idea that they've played, they've coached, but he's been a head coach. So can he teach the offensive side of the football? I believe so. He also said, when I say he, Antonio Pierce said that he wants more explosive plays. That's Cliff Kingsbury in a nutshell, baby. That is air raid at its finest. He wants to take shots down the field. That's going to happen now. Lots of motion on offense. It's going to happen a lot more now. All of these things that AP said, I was like, it's going to be Cliff Kingsbury. It's always, I think was always going to be Cliff. Now, it's always been you. We talked about OC secret candidates. There was a lot of other rumors out there. It was reported that the Raiders were also interested in Chip Kelly, who was somebody that we did talk about briefly on the show earlier this week. But the bottom line is the Raiders went for their home run swing. And damn it, they got it. I think Cliff is going to do a phenomenal job on the offensive side of the football, creating a brand new offense with a bunch of smart people around him. And when you also see that it's being rumored that they're going to hire Hugh Jackson as a advisor. If you're Mark Davis and you're worried about hiring a first-time head coach in Antonio Pierce, you got to be able to sit back right now and be like, holy shit, he is, he's brought in Marvin Lewis, who's always been regarded as a smart defensive mind. You have Patrick Graham, who got multiple head coaching interviews. Now you're bringing in Hugh Jackson, potentially, which it sounds like Hugh Jackson's going to be joining the offensive side of the football. And Hugh Jackson was not a good head coach, but not everybody's built to be a head coach. Antonio Pierce has got that leadership quality to be a good head coach. Hugh Jackson, though, just as a senior advisor on the offense, hell yeah, that's a really damn good hire. But I know the main question that all y'all are probably wondering is, Mitch, who are the top quarterbacks for Cliff Kingsbury? I would say I'm going to stick to my guns here. And I'm going to stick to the fact that I want Las Vegas to trade up and get a quarterback. Is it going to cost a lot? Yes. Is it going to be risky? Absolutely it is. But it's also risky for the Raiders to draft what seems like anything in, in round three. So to me, I believe Caleb Williams is the number one most likely quarterback that the Raiders try to go after because of his connections with Cliff. Second is Jaden Daniels because of Jaden Daniels' relationship with Antonio Pierce with Marvin Lewis, the Raiders' new assistant head coach. And then I would say it's Drake May, and then I would say it's Justin Fields. However, I got to ask y'all, Cliff Kingsbury is the Raiders' OC. We're live here on the show. This is why you subscribe. Anytime breaking news happens, I promise you this. I am dedicated to the shield. I got a tattle on my leg for my God, for God's sake. But I'm more dedicated to y'all. I love Cliff Kingsbury higher. I think AP is a great dude. Mad Max is my man. Devontae Adams. But all those guys are second place to the nation. And this show is about giving the nation a voice. We wanted Josh McDaniels fired, and I think because we were so loud, it was heard. And I think also one of the reasons why Cliff Kingsbury is the OC is because our voice was heard. So now let's let our voice be heard. I promise you this. I am going to do everything in my power, everything in my power, to make sure the Raiders come away this offseason with a quarterback. I want it to be known. So let the nation know who should the Raiders quarterback be this season. Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May. That's option A. Option B is you trade for Justin Fields. I don't want to go to option C. I don't want to go to option D. I don't want to go to F, whatever the rest of the alphabet is. Top three quarterbacks, you settle for Justin Fields. That's where I'm putting my stamp on this bad boy. If anybody wants to party with Chugs and I in Las Vegas, we're going to be live for the big game. Where? At the Ahern Hotel. It's going to be located inside the Ahern Live Studio. Here's the address. Here's when the party has been starting. And if you want to reserve your spot, you got to go to this link here down below, chatsports.com slash big game. I will say it's free to enter, free to enter, free to attend. I just can't guarantee you a spot at our big game watch party. 
I don't want the Niners to win. I don't want the Chiefs to win. But I do want to hang out with a bunch of y'all. I do want to be able to share a beer. Y'all are going to be able to pull up on the Raider Sport, chug a beer with us, do a boot with us. And it's a happy hour pass, $99, all you can eat, all you can drink. Here's how you get it. If you do want to actually join the show and like stand up here next to me when the game's actually going on, I recommend getting the VIP pass. Bottom line is this. If you plan on going into Vegas and you plan on watching the big game in Vegas, I challenge you to find a better all-you-can-eat, all-you-can-drink buffet-style meal for these prices here. $99, $149. It's at the link below. And if you're like, Mitch, what food are we getting? It's at the link below. So again, y'all, we went live here on the Raiders Report for the breaking news around Cliff Kingsbury to be the next OC. I think it's a great hire. I think it's an a freaking plus And what Antonio Pierce, what Tom Telesco, what this Raiders staff is starting to turn into, it might not get a lot of media attention. Quite frankly, I'm okay with that. I like the underdog mentality, and that's what the Raiders are going to be. People laughed when the Raiders chose Antonio Pierce over Jim Harbaugh, but the reason why the Raiders went this route is because they know what type of leader AP is, and they know the type of staff that he's going to be able to rally. They know the type of players that he's going to recruit. People want to be around Antonio Pierce because what he's doing, it's just simply different, and the Raiders are trending in the right direction. They're doing a lot, a lot of things the right way, but until you get that quarterback... It's not going to matter. At the end of the day, Antonio Pierce, Tom Telesco, Cliff Kingsbury, the way that they are going to be remembered is the decision they make this year at the quarterback position. I know it's scary to trade up for a QB, but damn it, we're in Vegas. It's time to push those chips in. It's time to go all in. It's commitment to excellence. It's just win, baby. And the only way you're going to be able to do it is if you get that franchise quarterback. And if it works, if it happens... Al Davis, I guarantee you, he's going to be looking down, and he's going to be one happy mother effer. Remember, y'all, if you ever want videos here around the Las Vegas Raiders, every day, live stuff, whatever it is, and if you're ready to turn up, I wore my horse beer jersey for a reason. I'm rocking 58 for a reason. We're live here on the Raiders Report, and I'm not going home. Let's go to Danny Grant, Mitch. I want to hear that war cry. Raiders! Also, what makes Jaden Daniels a better prospect than Caleb Williams? I mean, honestly, Jaden Williams' deep ball is one of the prettiest deep balls that I've seen. Jaden Daniels, I think, is a better player inside of a system. Like, Caleb, what scares me the most about Caleb Williams is when the play breaks down, Caleb doesn't really know what necessarily to do. And he always gets a lot of time to throw the ball at USC. Like in the NFL, you can't hang on to the ball for three seconds. The amount of tape that I watch where Caleb hangs on to the ball for three seconds scares the hell out of me. The other part, and it's the biggest reason, is up here. Caleb Williams' is mental, it, it scares me. I, it scares the hell out of me. I'm being real. Jaden Daniels, when he steps up into that huddle, I feel like every time he steps up into that huddle, he looks at all those players and just spews confidence. Caleb gives me a little bit of a... If you're going to spew, spew into this. <laughs> spew into this. What up, Derek? Let's freaking go, Raiders! Smart move, Derek. I feel you, man. If you want a shout-out here on the Raiders Report, let's go. Let's turn it up, man. Cayman, the pieces are all starting to fall into place. Just win, baby. And Raiders! Also, common. Common, I know. It's just what I see. <laughs> I'm, I'm dyslexic as all hell. Corbs, Midwest Raider here from Northwest Indiana coming to town for the Hoosier. Super Bowl show. Gotta rock the Ahern. Will you guys sign stuff? Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I have signed babies. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I, you bring the Sharpie. We'll sign it up as long as it's not like. I'll sign almost anything. I will sign almost anything. I had a Raider fan ask me if they would sign their grandfather's ashes before. I did not do that. That, that was like where I was like, I can't sign that. I had a crazy mf -er have me sign his arm, and he got it tattooed. Shout out to Taino. Yeah, I'll tell you this right now. Chugs has got somebody that's got his name tattooed on him. I want to get the, I want the same thing. I'm a little jealous. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous. Risky, now that we have Kingsbury, who would you get as quarterback in the draft? Hello from El Paso, Texas. Chico. I mean. Right now, I'm looking at the top three. I, I would say the Raiders are probably going to eye either Caleb Williams or Jaden Daniels. Like, I'm a big Drake May fan. However, with the hiring of Cliff Kingsbury, I don't really see it 
going in that direction. I'm going to put out a video tomorrow, my top quarterbacks for the Las Vegas Raiders. It's not exactly what I planned on doing tomorrow, but now that this just happened, yeah, tomorrow's live show, which is going to be probably 4 p.m. Eastern time, it's going to be a shit show, so just tune into that. I'm going to be doing my top quarterbacks with Cliff Kingsbury. It's a guaranteed segment coming up tomorrow. MXL reps, it's our time. Stand up to the world or whole nation. Let's go. Much love, Mitch, from Moreno Valley, California. Let's go. Much love to you, MX. Runway, no, no jumping jacks today. Is there anyone else who can trade besides Jacoby Myers? He's too clutch of a number two wide receiver to give away to, mo to move up in the draft. I mean, I'll tell you this right now. I think Jacoby Myers is absolutely getting traded. And it's not because he's not a good receiver. It's because the Raiders want to be able to add speed. And if you think about it, the two slowest receive starting caliber receivers in the NFL, I bet you it's Devontae Adams and Jacoby Myers. Like, Jacoby's really good in a run-blocking first system. And yes, they're still going to run the ball. But if Cliff's going to stay true to his word, and if AP's going to stay true to his word, and they want to be able to add speed, you already have Trey Tucker. You're not going to do anything with Michael Mayer. Devontae Adams isn't going to go anywhere. So to me, the only other receiver spot where if you legitimately want to add more speed to the field, like Hunter Renfro's already gone. Like, you know that. Now, maybe they decide to keep Jacoby, and then they want to add another player of speed to replace Renfro. But to me, though, you're not going to have a lot of speed on the field if it's with Jacoby Myers out there. Like, yeah. I don't want it to turn into when Jacoby's out there, we run. When Trey Tucker's out there, it's a guaranteed pass. That's too predictable. Fonzie. This, this, you go. This news gave me an extra pump here at the gym, LFG. We're here to pump you up. I'm glad you clarified. I'm not going to lie. Because I, I just picture Fonzie being like, oh, let's go. D. White, Mitch, Chugs, Raider Nation, our time is coming. And can I get a Raider? Also, bro, we got this 2000. Is, this isn't Eagles. This is North Texas. North, that's where mean he went green. to college, in case you guys didn't know. Mean Green, step up. We got 2,600 people here in the building. And if you haven't already hit that like button, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hit that like button. Coach Harlow, I haven't been this excited in years. Raiders! My question is, who's doing the next beer bong with me? Scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about the signing? Scale it's a 10! Scale it 1 to 10. It's a 10! Next person that bangs on the show, beer bong. Next person that bangs on the show, beer bong. The judge from Yugoslavia gives it a 10. <laughs> Joel Allen. What's up, Joel? This team is going to be lit. All we needed was a quarterback, a few pieces of the low line, a defensive tackle, a good linebacker. We are going to be dangerous. Can I get a Raiders? I do think that this team is going to be a dangerous team. And depending on what the Raiders do, like if you're the Raiders, you've got to trade up for that quarterback now. Like it's not something you wait until draft day on. If you're the Raiders, you pick up the call, you pick up the phone, you call as many people as humanly freaking possible, and you try to trade up into the top three. If you know that there is a 0% chance of it happening, you trade for Justin Fields, you spend a lot of freaking money, I'm going to go out and sign a lot of pieces on the defensive side of the football and free agency because the offensive side on the draft, a lot of offensive line talent. I'm going to build the O-line through the draft. Raider what Smoke, a.k.a. Papaya Man. What's up, Papaya Man? Do you man? think we move up to number one, Will they go get Caleb now that Cliff is hired, or do you think they go with Daniels because of the AP connection? I think we've already kind of answered this a little bit, but it's honestly, what are the Bears going to do? Are the Bears going to relinquish that first overall pick and allow somebody to trade up? If that's not the case, there's not really anything you can do. And I mean, again, we talked about it earlier, but we're now starting to hear and believe that the commanders might not be a lock to take a quarterback yeah. at two. So part of the – discussion we were having in our live show about Kubiak more than likely going to be the commander's OC going to go with Dan Quinn their connections run deep go go back you know far to Kyle Shanahan being the yep. OC for Dan Quinn in Atlanta Kubiak comes from that same system of Shanahan as well as the Kubiak tree that is very familiar with Dan Quinn yeah. have a lot of connections there already but if Kubiak goes to the commanders, don't be surprised that they're willing to either trade back or draft Marvin Harrison at two 
and go get Kirk Cousins to bring back to Washington. That's his guy. And again, I know it's bringing him back, but Kubiak and Kirk Cousins are like this. Russell Wilson, I think, would also be another intriguing option to go to the Washington Commanders. And you know what, man? There's one guy who is always down to get turned up. Our January bang winner, our December bang winner, newest Mount Raidermore member, Justin! Justin! Bang! Bro, I cannot wait. To bang with the nation in Las Vegas. I can't wait. Hey, I can't wait. Don't spam Justin. Happy spam birthday. HBD. It's Justin's birthday, and the Raiders knew. They said, hey, he's a real one. We're going to give him the best present imaginable, and that is Cliff Kingsbury. That sounded a little weird, but happy <laughs> birthday to you, Justin. His wife's sitting there right now. like Your, your present is, is this handsome young offensive coordinator in Cliff Kingsbury. Happy birthday, Justin Abgen, and many more. Justin Abgen, everybody, spam those HBDs. A real one here at the channel and a member of Mount Raidermore, Justin freaking Abgen. Justin Abgen, shout out to possibly your father. <laughs> what a name. Gabriel, Misty, Joel, Ray, your boy, fishing. Sienna, Shane, Eric Hook, Jaquan. What up, Kyle? What up, Jeffrey Willis, Sunray, Dorian, Raider Nation? I got Black Lion Supreme, Meet Williams, Cloud, Nico, Laz, Deval, 35, Willie Plain. <laughs> Salute. What up, Trey? Caleb Williams to LV. I mean, it's, it's more likely now than what it was two hours ago. I'll guarantee you that. It is more likely now than what it was just a few hours ago. Because I'll tell you this, the Raiders are going to really try to push the ball down the field. The Cardinals finished in the top 10 in offensive yards in 2020 and in 2021, and we're in the top half of the league in points scored in each of the first three seasons with Cliff. Like, I know that some people are like, oh, he never had a top 10 scoring offense. You're right. But were the Arizona Cardinals ever a good team slash Kyler Murray was also hurt. And Cliff's biggest problem has always been the defense. Coming to the Raiders, that's not going to be a problem for him. Correct. They're going to say, hey, you just focus on the offense. Me and PG, we got the defense. All you got to do is put some points on the board. So I think this is a match made in heaven of somebody who, you know, you know, strives for greatness on the offensive side and his biggest setback was defense. With Patrick Graham, he doesn't have to worry about that anymore. And I think also, if you think about how great the Raiders' defense was last season, if you are top 12 offensively, hell, maybe top 16 offensively, you are a legit NFL team. Because the way the Raiders played on defense, compared to then the way they played, they were a bottom five offensive team, and they were in the mix. They es were in the mix. Esco, what's the possibility of trading down and bringing in someone like Kirk Cousins? I, I don't think... The Raiders are going to go that route to get Kirk Cousins. Um, supposedly, he wants you know ninety million guaranteed. So I don't know if the Raiders are willing to do that, and I don't know how the fit is with Cliff Kingsbury. Like I said, I think Kirk Cousins more than likely either coming back to Washington or, or yeah, coming back to Washington or going to stay in Minnesota. Those are the two places I really see Kirk Cousins going. Maybe even maybe Russell Wilson to um, either of those teams as well, but we shall see. D-Rock, stop drinking, but it has to happen now. I'm so hyped that the OC, the OC I wanted, let's go, and I'm in Boise, Idaho, hyped as hell. Let's go, D-Rock. What up, Brandon? Jesper, do you think Kingsbury trades up, and how will free agency go? Again, free agency is kind of a fickle mistress right now at this point because – if the first thing that I do right now, if I'm the Las Vegas Raiders, I get all of my coaches into a room and I go, who's your guy? Like, who do you want at quarterback? And if they say it's Caleb Williams, it's Jaden Daniels, then you put a plan together. How can we get that quarterback to happen? If that doesn't happen, well, then you start to look at, okay, how can I potentially get a guy like Justin Fields? And if you can address that, we're going to either get a Justin Fields, we're going to try to go up and get a quarterback, 
Then you do a lot to fix your offensive line, and then you do a lot to sign a big-name defensive tackle. Like In free agency, the number one thing that I do is I sign the biggest-name defensive tackle I can. That takes pressure off Tyree Wilson. You lose, you lost Adam Butler, potentially. Uh, John Jenkins, Bilal Nichols. Like You need extra depth on DT. And with how deep the offensive line class is this year in the draft, I'm okay trying to draft an offensive lineman. Now, obviously, if you trade up, you might lose a few picks, so just keep that in mind. But I know Jermaine Illuminor wants to stay in Las Vegas. I think Andre James could be convinced to come back to the Las Vegas Raiders. And if you get put into a pinch, why not run it back with Greg Van Roten? This was a Raiders offensive line that was top 12 in basically every single category out there. It might not be the sexy line, but if it means I can go up and get a quarterback like Caleb or Jaden, I'm in. Luke. I'm not sold on Caleb in the NFL. I'd rather go Drake. Oh, I know way too many people here right now that I didn't know last year. Who the F are y'all? I swear it feels like I oh, I swear it feels like the last few <laughs> nights. I've been everywhere and back, but I just can't remember it all. What am I doing? Shout out your area code right now. I see Esco Devaldez. Oh, you meant what Drake. Is up? Oh, oh, you meant Drake May. Oh, uh, I'll tell you, I mean. It's no secret if you watch this show, the number one quarterback that I personally would draft, the quarterback that I like the most is Drake May. However, I'm going to trust Antonio Pierce. I am going to trust what they are doing, and if they like the fit with Jaden better because he's more of their type of guy, I'm okay with it. If Cliff, if Cliff goes, I want Caleb Williams, that's my guy, I'm going to trust the process, which I didn't trust it at all with McDaniels because I knew it wasn't going to happen. But the reason why I sat up here and when the Raiders signed or claimed Jack Jones, I go, I trust Antonio Pierce. I'm going to trust them in this situation as well. If they go with somebody at QB, I'm going to trust it. Unless it's like, if they say, hey, man, we're going to roll with Aiden O'Connell, which they're not going to do that. If they say, hey, man, we're going to roll with Bo Nix, I don't think they're going to do that. That's where I start to go, man, I, I don't know, man. And honestly, if anybody out there still thinks AOC is the guy, he in no way fits a Cliff Kingsbury offense. No. A mobile quarterback who can sling it, not AOC. That, I mean, I'll tell you this right now. I don't even know if Aiden O'Connell is back on the Raiders next year. I mean, if you want to talk about if your starting quarterback ends up going down and then having a totally horrific, like, total not fit, the perfect offense for Aiden O'Connell is a Josh McDaniels offense. To be to be frank with you, it's the perfect offense for him. Is a that's the perfect system. The Raiders now. I'll be curious to see what they decide to do because I don't think Aiden fits with Cliff, like at all, at all. El Hernandez, let's go be great. Get Caleb. Let's go Raiders. El Hernandez, Eric M. The Bake Show is coming to Vegas. No. 0% chance Baker Mayfield's coming to Vegas. 0% chance. And if the Raiders 100%. said we're bringing Baker Mayfield to Vegas, I will say that this entire year is a waste. You cannot bring Baker Mayfield to Las Vegas. Why would you pay Baker Mayfield 25 to $30 million per year to be your quarterback? No. 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 Stoke for Life Foundation Thoughts on Baker? No, Mayfield. no. Thomas, fire Josh McDaniels. He's not cheaper than Justin Fields. He's not. Justin Fields this year, if you end up bringing him in, it's six million dollars against the cap, and then if you wanted to extend him, you have until May second to give him his fifth year option. Then Justin Fields on his fifth year option would be twenty two million dollars. So if you're the Las Vegas Raiders, you go, okay, bet. I'm gonna trade for Justin Fields. You can already give him that fifth year option if you want. That means he's $6 million in 2024, $22 million the following season. That year, the, those two years combined, I bet you is cheaper than Baker Mayfield. Bet. The Mokes, Cliff going to make AOC the MVP. I know you're poking with the player. What up, man? Shout out, Raiders! Steven! Let's go! LFG. Now, now it's, it's time, time to get Caleb. Now Steven it's time. from Long Beach. I don't know if you know this, but Steven's from Long Beach. I don't know if you know that. Nico, I just went from six to midnight. Can anybody name that movie? It is, I, I'm not kidding you, it is the movie that I can quote better than any movie out there. I would never forget it, never. Rubik, Rubik a if, 50. Oh, shit, Rubik. 
Remember, if you want to get Marshall to race Rebel in a boot race in Vegas, every 50, we're adding to the fund. Every 50, we're adding to the fund. If we're unable, or, or, if we're to trade for a top three in the draft and unable to trade for fields, which, oh, if we're not able to trade in the top three or not able to trade for fields, which free agent QB would you take out of Russell Wilson, Kirk Cousins, or Baker Mayfield? Out of those, Russell Wilson. And the only reason why I say Russell Wilson is because I am a believer that Russell Wilson is going to sign a deal this offseason for $1.21 million because he's when he gets cut, he gets $89 million. And Russell Wilson cares more about his legacy than anything else. He's got 12 bathrooms, for Christ's sake. Sierra might make more money than he does. And for Russell, if he signs a contract at $1.21 million, that means the Denver Broncos, they will also get $1.21 million because of the way that his contract is structured. If Russell Wilson signs a deal for $50 million, the Denver Broncos also get a contract for $50 million. So if I'm Russell and I want to say F you to Denver... I'm going to sign at the vet men. I'm going to rebuild my legacy. I'm going to take a one-year prove-it deal, and I'm going to know deep down that if I take a one-year prove-it deal at $1.21 million, I allow a, the team that I'm signing with to build around me, I'm going to have a much better year. Then the following season, you hit free agency, and guess what? You're going to make way more money than what you would coming off of this season. Bet. OC, how Bet. much does this hire show we're moving up in the draft? I think it's always been that you're trying to move up. But the whole problem has been the top three teams, are they willing to move back? I think the commanders at number two might be the most willing because I was talking to Mitch earlier too. They really want Caleb Williams bad. And if they don't get Caleb Williams, is if Chicago is going to go ahead and draft Williams at one, do the commanders view Drake May or Jaden Daniels as their future guy? Or do they maybe sign a Kirk Cousins or – you know, move back or even possibly draft arguably the most bust work, like non-bust player in the draft in Marvin Harrison Jr., the most surefire pick. Do they go ahead and do that? I don't know. But I know that their owner is pretty dead set on trying to trade up and get Caleb Williams. And if not that in the draft, I think they might go to other options. Dorian. Say we get the first overall and lose our one, two, three this year and next year. Can we trade a, uh, Devontae Adams to the New York Jets for their first and second pick? What are you thinking? Um, I would say that, unfortunately, from people that I've talked to, because I don't know if you guys know this or not, I've worked at the Jets before. Um, I've, I know a few people that still work there and are pretty close to that organization. The Jets would not give us a first and a second for Devontae. They would be willing to give us the number 10 overall pick for Devontae, but nothing more than that. And the problem with this conversation is if you're the Las Vegas Raiders and you're going to give up all this, all these assets, right, to get a top quarterback, what you don't want is a situation like Bryce Young this year. Like, Bryce Young, i still not going to say he's a bust. Like, I don't think it's fair because they had absolutely positively no talent around him. You don't want to trade up for a guy like Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, whoever, and say, all right, Jacoby Myers is your receiver one. That's not a good, like, you're not putting him in the right spot to succeed. And I know that Devontae's contract is a lot in two years. I'm okay with it. If it means I got to pay Devontae Adams because his cap hits in 2025 and 2026 are $44 million, I'm okay paying Devontae Adams that type of money if Devontae helps groom that rookie quarterback and turns him into that franchise QB difference maker. I am more than okay with doing that. Steve O, Raiders! With uh, Clint Kubiak at OC and uh, offensive input from – oh, Cliff Kingsbury, duh. At OC and offensive input from Hugh, does that mean we would uh, be going with power O-line versus zone blocking? Also, does Fields fit with Kingsbury's air raid offense? I do think that Fields wouldn't be my number one pick for it personally. But then again, Justin Fields, is he's been in a terrible offensive system with Luke Getze. And he is a hell of an athlete, right? Like, what if we go more spread? And when you go more spread, that also allows a running quarterback to be more of an athlete. If your offense is spread out, that's going to give Justin Fields an opportunity. He's, he's not the most accurate passer. However, though, he does have a strong arm. Also, with Cliff's offense, he likes to run a lot of screens. Justin Fields can do a lot of screens. He can get the ball out quickly. It's going to also set up a lot of run options. Like, 
I know when people think of air raid, they don't think of running the football a lot. They're going to run the football a lot with Cliff Kingsbury. I'm telling you right now, it is absolutely going to happen. In terms of power O-line or zone blocking, I think that might still be a little bit TBD based on what quarterback they draft, based on whether or not they keep Jacobs. Like, if they keep Jacobs, I want to go more zone because he's built to be a zone runner. It also determines what type of offensive line you have. Like, Andre James, free agent. Greg Van Roten, free agent. Jermaine Illuminor, free agent. Still a lot of unknowns to be able to, at, to answer, like, those type of questions, but I like where your head's at. Giggity. Rex, if the Broncos cut Russ, they are, would it be a good idea to pick him up for a mill and draft Daniels or Williams and develop them under him? Cheers, boys. Raider Nation for life. I don't think it's the right move. Um, and the only reason why I say that is you're not going to trade up into the top three and not play that QB right away. Like, do I think it's maybe an intriguing option to steal away Russell Wilson? But I don't think that that's what Wilson personally would want. And you're, again, you're not going to trade up into the top three to not start that quarterback right away. Like, you're willing to give up all the draft capital that it costs and potentially starting caliber players to move up to get that quarterback. Van Throck! You know what, Jeremy? Also, you know what I want to do? 50-50 raffle. If you want in and you want a chance to win some money, you want to get a little bit wild? You want to get a little bit wild? $50 Venmo at Mitchell Renz365 for a chance to get in and win some money, honey. A chance to get in and win some money, honey. Who cares? You said it's so annoying? Then get the hell out of here. I'm here to celebrate. I'm here to celebrate. Get out of here. Joe Lopez, get out of here. Tri-Van, Esco, what is up, man? What is Let's up, everything? Go. Mario, Willy Wonka. I can tell you this. I know I'm definitely never going to party with Joe Lopez. I'm definitely not partying with y'all. Get the hell out of here. You're not welcome. Leave. Ben Thrack, shout out to you, man. If you want a <laughs> shout out here on the Raiders Report, spam Ben Thrack right now. He says, does the hire fit, though? Cliff is an air raid guy, but we want to run the ball, be physical, uh, and take deep shots that the run game sets up. Feeling like Kubiak made more sense based on AP. But the thing is, AP isn't really an offensive guy. He doesn't really have an offensive philosophy. That's what the Raiders have done in the past. But you I also have Josh Jacobs, who's going to be a free agent. You have Zamir White as your running back right now, but he's on a rookie deal. So I'll tell you this. It, it's kind of open for him to kind of shape what he wants this offense to be like. I mean, everything you just mentioned, though, is exactly what the Cliff Kingsbury offense is. When he was the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals, they were top 10 in rushing attempts. Like, they're going to run the football. And I know when people think of air raid, they don't think of rushing. I'll admit, they were top 10 in rushing because their quarterbacks were also willing to run the football, which is why I do think it's, like, the perfect fit. This screams, Aiden O'Connell ain't the quarterback. Like, the only way you're going out and getting Cliff Kingsbury is if you're also going to find somebody that can also move. And... That might be a Justin Fields. Maybe it is a Jaden Daniels. Maybe it is a Caleb Williams. Like, to me, this is a very, very good move. And everything that you just said, that's what Cliff Kingsbury offense is. Like, people think of air raid and they just think, shotgun, I'm going to chuck it every single time. No, it's a vertical passing game. It's a lot of screens, and it's running the football. It, it's, it's a perfect, perfect offense for the type of quarterback that I want. It is the perfect offense for the type of QB that I want. Like, Let's go. I think Patrick B's right. 55 to 45 pass run. I think that's a very good percentage, honestly. I owe you a beer bong here, Venthrak. Keep it rolling, Chuggy Bowl. Rex MLP, if the Broncos cut Russ, would it be a good idea to pick him up for a mill and draft Daniels or Williams and develop them under him? I don't think so because if you're trading all that capital to go up, you want the most out of your rookie quarterback, especially if you're trading up in the top three picks and – your Super Bowl window, really, with a top rookie quarterback is during that rookie deal. So if you have him sit for a couple seasons, I'm, you're, you're really kind of wasting that rookie deal that you're going to have him on and all the assets that you're trading up to get. Like, I don't think it's smart to sit Daniels or Williams 
you do that with like a guy that you draft in the third or fourth round. If you were going to wait and draft a Joe Milton, a Bo Nix, a J.J. McCarthy, those guys are the guys that you sit for two or three seasons. If you're trading up for a top player in the NFL draft, that guy's not going to sit. You're not sitting that guy right. for multiple seasons. The, the only like instances is that that happens is later in the first round, kind of guys and going into the second, third, fourth round guys. Like you're, you're not trading up and then going to sit him. That that doesn't really make as much sense. Thanks for the super chat though, Rex MLP. Big Matt word. Bluey, you in? David Perez, you in? Rustin Long, you are and in. Vinthrak, you're saying Jordan Love, but Sean Burns. That was. In. At the end of the first round, they didn't really trade all their assets to go get Jordan Love. And they also had a generational quarterback already in Aaron Rodgers. Correct. And he very, was – Very different. Jordan Love was seen as a project guy. You're, you're not – Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May are not project guys. Correct. Jordan Love was a guy who was non-Power 5, who was seen as somebody who needs to develop, hasn't played like, talented enough defenses, talented enough competition to step in right away. All three of those guys played for Power 5 teams, top 25 college football teams in USC, North Carolina, and LSU. Those guys are expected to step in right away, Cal unlike Jordan Love. Caleb Williams has been regarded as one of the best quarterback prospects in maybe since Andrew Luck, Joe Burr. Like, he's being regarded like that. And you got another guy who's won the Heisman, right? Like, I, I to me, and I know some people are like, Mitch, tell me the last time a Heisman Trophy winner was actually, like, really, really good. That was mobile quarterback. That, that's what I've been getting hit with. Jaden Daniels ain't Jamarcus Russell. Caleb Williams is not Sam Darnold. I'm just telling you right now, what Cliff Kingsbury can bring to the table on the offensive side of the football, you got to go all in. And I'm excited. I, man, I'm telling you right now, this is the most excited I've been in a long time, man. I really mean that. Also, I got to say this. We got four people in our 50-50 raffle. So it's a $50 Venmo right now for a chance to win a hundred. And you know what, Chugs? I want to make it a little bit of a spicier meatball. A little, a little bit of a spicier meatball. I'm going to add an extra hundred bucks. I got a hundred bucks in my Venmo right now. I'm not going to win the race, but I'm going to add an extra hundred. So right now, as it stands, $50 Venmo to win 200. Damn. Spicier meatball. Let's celebrate the shit out of this. Curtis James, Mitch, love you guys. We can't get Daniels or Williams or Fields. Can you see the Raiders draft either Michael Penix or Joe Milton and sign Cousins for Devontae and groom either quarterback? Um, Penix is the only one where I'm like, he's I do not. Think in Penix would be interesting in Cliff's. System. Yeah, and he's not more of like I'm saying like project guys of guys who you know can't start first year. Penix, I don't know. Penix is the one player in this year's draft where I am confused on. Is he ready to start right away, or does he need to sit and marinate for a year well, or two? Bo Nix, he's not ready for two, three years. J.J. McCarthy, not ready for two or three very years. Very few times do you see in back-to-back -back games a quarterback show you that he's so ready and that he's not ready. Yeah. And with the game against the University of Texas and then the game against Michigan, he showed you the best of Michael Pe Penix and almost the worst. Nah, I don't want to say the worst, but almost the I worst think, of Michael Penix. I think it's the worst game he played. The Michigan game was the first time, maybe, not the first time, but you saw him go up against a legit NFL-caliber style defense, and he was bad. He left the game injured. He's got tons of injury history. He's going to get flagged at the NFL Combine for the injury history. I don't think he's going to even test all that well compared to other quarterbacks that might go before him. The thing You just got to rely on the tape, and when the tape's good, Penix is a hell of a quarterback. Yeah. The injury history, though, in the game against Michigan, it's going to hurt him. Reg Javon, this is about to be the team I dreamed of for the last 15 years. I hope. Raiders! I really hope so, dude. Philip Boger, you in. Gladwin, you in. Agent 12, Drake May is the next Zach Wilson. The era of the black QB is here. Get with the program. I don't think that's really fair to say that Drake May is they Zach Wilson. They are not even close to the same prospect. Yeah. I mean, I'll say this right now. The fact that you're saying this, like, I think Jaden Daniels and Lamar, like, me saying Jaden Daniels and Jamarcus Russell is like you saying Zach Wilson and Drake May are the same prospect. The same thing when people are like, Drake May is just that's Mitch like Trubisky. Being like, it's not true. That's it's like not, me being like. You don't watch tape. 
Caleb Williams is Jacoby Brissett. They're the same skin color. That yeah, makes no sense. It's uh, I always say this. Thank you for watching the show, but this is dumb. Yeah. It's dumb. Bad, dumb. Bad dumb. Big word. Mitch, free agent QB on a one-year deal in Penix or Knicks? Again, I'm not a big fan of Bo Nix. To me, he's not a quarterback you draft in round one. To me, he is, you know, second round-ish type of talent. Penix is another intriguing player, but to me, I, I don't want a free agent quarterback. I don't want to pay Kirk Cousins $45 million a year. I think Russell Wilson is your best option in free agency, and yet he's such a cornball to me that I don't even really want him. To me, it is... Jaden Daniels, Caleb Williams, Drake May, plan A. Plan B is you trade for Justin Fields. Like, that's what I want. I don't want to have to get into this Penix Jr., Knicks. I, I don't want to even have to think about it. I would be very upset if that's the direction the Raiders went with for a starter because I'm telling you right now, Bo Nix is not even close to being ready to be a starting quarterback in the NFL. Risky. Not saying it. I don't know what it means, so I'm not going to trust Dave it. Dave P. Draft. Honestly, I might have said it if you didn't say say it. Draft top three QB Wilson. Let league, league minimum. minimum for backup. <laughs> no AOC. Again, this is uh not a realistic option because you're not going to trade up for a top three QB and get Wilson for the league minimum. Jose Romero, Mitch and Chugs, USGM <laughs> just traded for the number one pick. Which are you selecting, Daniels, Williams, or May? I got to choose Caleb Williams because I think he has the highest ceiling. I think he has the highest potential out of the three quarterbacks. It's a boomer bust pick. But at this point, if you're in the AFC West and you're going up against Patrick Mahomes and possibly Justin Herbert every single year, you got to find somebody who can match up with those guys. If I'm a betting man right now, and if any of y'all out there are like, Mitch, who can I bet on to be the number one overall pick? If I'm a Raider fan, the number one pick that I'm making is Jaden Daniels, and it's because I think the value is there because of Antonio Pierce, because of Marvin Lewis. Like, Marvin Lewis and Antonio Pierce. Antonio Pierce is head coach. Marvin Lewis is, Anto is assistant head coach. Both of those guys follow Jaden Daniels on social media, and maybe I'm looking too much into it, but they have a great relationship with Jaden. Like, those two guys got a shout-out at his Heisman ceremony. They were in his the Week 18 locker room, right? Like, if I'm going to rely on those two guys to make decisions— I think it's going to be Jaden Daniels. If I say, Cliff, who is your guy? I think Cliff picks Caleb Williams. So it depends who's making the decisions. If it's Antonio Pierce, Marvin Lewis, I think they go Jaden. If you will literally allow Cliff to make his decision, it's Caleb Williams. So if, when you're asking me, Mitch, I'm the GM. You just traded for the number one pick. I'm going to bet on my guys. Like, I'm going to ask Cliff, OC, who do you want? Antonio Pierce, who do you want? And that's the way I'm going to go. Because that's how this team is being built. Raider Smoke, what football are some of these fans smoking? Hell no to Baker and Cousins. If that's the case, might as well throw AOC in there again. I mean, Cousins definitely gives you a better chance to win. Baker definitely gives you a better chance to win than AOC. But, you know, like, would you rather Chris Jones and Jalen Johnson and a Aiden O'Connell or just Kirk Cousins? You know what I mean? Like, I think I, I can make the argument if you build a team with Chris Jones, you also sign Jalen Johnson, and then you roll with Aiden O'Connell again, that might be better than just going with a guy like Kirk Cousins. Like, the reason why I also don't want Cousins, I get it. Devontae said, hey, this is a guy that I want, but I don't want the exact same situation that happened to us last season, right? Like, people got to learn from history. You got to learn from your mistakes. The Raiders signed Jimmy Garoppolo. They had to learn a brand new offensive system again. Garoppolo did with McDaniel, and he wasn't able to practice all offseason. Kirk Cousins popped his Achilles. He's not going to be able to practice the entire offseason. So you want to pay a quarterback $45 million who's got a popped Achilles, who's not going to be able to practice the entire offseason, and you've got to learn a brand new offensive scheme without your starting quarterback. Like, it's not a recipe for success. It's not. If they would have hired Kubiak, all right, I might be able to get on board a little bit more with Cousins. Cousins now with Cliff. It does not make any sense. No sense. I can't wrap my mind around it. I really, really cannot wrap my mind around it. Also, Gladwin, I said that you're in, but friendly reminder, it's a $50 Venmo. I see Gladwin just sent in a 10. So, Gladwin, I need another 40 if you want a chance to get in that 50-50 raffle. You all right, Chugs? Oh, that's no bueno. All right, hang on a second here. I got a message to send you anyway. 
I got a message to send you anyway. This man is a madman. He never made it as a madman. He never made it as a poor man stealing. And this is how Justin Avgen reminds me of who I am. There you go. Sorry. Is it? Do you know where we left off? How about this? I'm going to give a shout out to somebody that sent in the one hundo. Nathan Wolf Bay! What's up, Nathan Wolf? What is up, Nathan Wolf? I owe y'all beer bong. I owe y'all beer bong. Hang on a second real quick. Hang on a second here real quick. Shout out to Nathan freaking Wolfman. Matt Sanders. Matt Sanders, it's all good. We're all drinking. I don't know if you can message anyone to figure out a way to get it back. I don't know. Justin Abgen Bang! Let's freaking go, man. We are live here on the Raiders Report. Tell me where to read from. Christopher. All right. So, guys, I'm just going to be transparent with you. Um, we lost internet connection. I don't know if you guys noticed it. We, we lost connection for about a half a second. And unfortunately, where do I have to go, Christopher? Uh, and unfortunately, our super chats, some of them went away. So I'm not going to be able to put them up on screen. However, I am going to be able to give you a shout out here. So Christopher said, Tyler... Ravens backup QB is a free agent. Uh, Tyler Huntley would be an intriguing option as a backup backup, but again, he can't be your starter. Venthrak, we read. Lorenz said, Lily and Stella, stop fighting. <laughs> Go Raiders. Robert Lindsley, just realized, who do we hire at special teams coach? Papa B. Papa Passaccia will not be coming back. He's going to be staying with the uh, Green Bay Packers, and it might be McMahon again. It might be McMahon again. Tryvan, do you think we trade or cut AOC with this hire or keep him? I mean, I would at least keep him for now if a team's willing to offer you a draft pick for him. Absolutely. you take. If it's a seventh-round pick, you take it in a heartbeat. If it's a seventh-round pick, you take it in a heartbeat. After figuring out the quarterback situation, this one's from Not Chico, uh, what should we do about the running back room this offseason and draft? First time Super Chat also. I really like Blake Corum as an addition. To me, if I'm the Las Vegas Raiders, you either try to trade away Zamir White and re-sign Josh Jacobs, or you let Josh Jacobs walk unless he's willing to take a really team-friendly deal, and then you draft a running back. Th that's personally what I would do. Sean, shit, we didn't bring back Gruden. Thank God. Don't trust Penix against NFL defenses from Benthrak. Memo Ramirez, this hire is vagtastic. Now let's go get a quarterback in the draft. Let's get Fields. Hooray! And now we got him back. If anybody sent in one of those supers, I'm sorry. Uh, our internet, like I said, it cut out for literally a minute. That's on us, okay? That's on us. I can't help it. Uh, sometimes the internet, I'm sure as you all know, doesn't work the way that you want it to sometimes. And uh, it is what it is. But we're back, man. We're back, man. Carlos, that's uh, that's you type that name in this chat, you get blocked quick. We got 2,000 people here in the building. Hit that like button. I, I did. Bro, same OC I wanted. Let's go old school Raiders. Solid defense and deep ball before my time, but it did the job. Raiders! Chugs, need you to read a few. I owe this one right here for Wolf and for Mr. Justin Avgy. Raider Gaines, what about trading for Richardson? 
Um, if you're talking about Anthony Richardson, there's no way. That, that, that's the Colts quarterback of the future. Um, am I missing a Richardson? Mm -mm. I think that's who you're talking about. No way the Colts trade Anthony Richardson. <sighs> that's their quarterback for, of the future. Yeah, so. I mean, I I get what you're saying, but I agree with Chugs here. It's it's not going to happen. Yeah. They, it, they, it's not going to happen. They say no. Um, the big Valboski RO line is near solid. Don't doubt this. We gave up six more sacks than the team that gave up the least. 24 of our 40 sacks were AOCs reinforce what we have. I agree. I mean, and obviously the first game against the Chargers, the O-line had a down game, but also – when you have a quarterback that doesn't move and stand still in the pocket for eight seconds, you're not able to block for that. These defensive linemen are too good, especially when you have Joey Bosa and Khalil Mack rushing the passer. We saw it in the NFC Championship game with Brock Purdy. He was able to evade the rushers it's a big difference. of the Lions and make plays. You have to have a quarterback that can make plays, that can run for first downs, and that, unfortunately, will never be AOC. Cruising all day. Don't trade for what up, killer. Don't trade for QB. Get Fields. I mean, that would be trading for a QB. And build the trenches. Go get Queen and a DT. It's too expensive for a non-proven QB. I would put everything on Fields. Kill us all in. Also, Gladwin, I got your other forty. You in? All in on Justin Fields. Wrong way. OC Raider, you in? I'm excited about coaching staff in the future. I think we all are. Robert, Ray, you in with the five dollar super chat? Thank you, Robert. Matt Fluhe with the fifty bomb. Hi, Van. You are in. Fluhe says Raiders have gone balls deep in the staff, and now they better do the same for a franchise quarterback. If they get scared, the next season is going to be a waste. If we can get a top three pick, I or if we can get a top three pick, or I guess if, that's supposed to say if we can't get a top three pick, I would go Wilson and uh. Raiders! Also, he says, happy birthday to Justin. Congratulations on the bang race. Congratulations to Mr. FG. Robert, let's get it done. Mark needs to hit home runs on all the future moves. Raider Nation, GL. Oh, man. You know what's crazy? Remember, y'all, every time somebody gets in this race, we add uh, a little bit to the Marshall... Fund here. Marshall to Vegas. I'm trying to get Marshall to Vegas. And what's crazy is this. I don't know if we're there yet. I got to look. I got some breaking news here. Marshall Green and Rebel Montana will officially do a boot race in Las Vegas. It's going down at the Ahern. Rebel, just so you know, uh, this is going to be your boot. It's going to be your boot, Rebel. And then we'll bring an extra one for Marsh. Well, luckily, I told Ahern, they, I think they bought 20 boots. I'm not even kidding you. Oh, wow. So, like, you guys, if you want to do a boot with us, since, again, this is why I want you to do the VIP package. Uh, if you get the VIP package... You can literally go up there and say, I want a boot. They'll hand you a glass boot. They'll fill it up with beer, and then you can do a boot with us. It's, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit lit. However, Chugs, you guys know the rules. I'm not going to lie. I got to take a massive pee. I mean, it's going to be monumental. Also, Jasper Barber, you in. Patrick B, you in. Husker, Raider, you in. So that means right now, 13 people are in. Ooh. Oh, I, I can do the math. Hold on. Hold on. Hang on. Uh, 650 divided by 325 to the winner, plus 100, 425. $50 Venmo right now. Winner gets $425. Oh, Michael, we got to go all in now. QB class. 2025 is cheeks. Yeah. I agree, Michael. I agree. OMC, what do you think has – who do you think has the final say, AP or Telesco? Very interesting. I hope they take a more, you know, 
rounded approach in having everybody in the room have somewhat of a say. The final say, though, I really wonder who it comes down to, whether it's Telesco or AP. I hope, I hope they go AP. He's had some, he's made some right moves, right decisions. Getting Jack Jones, a couple other moves that he's made. I would say, I hope it's AP, but I'm not sure who they let have the final say. Dave, three plus, no penalty games next season. Hey, most disciplined team in the NFL with AP. Book it. Franco Romano, I love you. Alexandro Romano with all my heart. Raiders, Super Bowl 2025. Let's effing go. Franco wants you to know. Ale Alexandra, Franco wants you to know. He loves you with all his heart. The big, the big Val Boski, pass on Caleb. We don't want the NFL version of Ben Simmons drama. We need a hardened psych that can take a beating, not a fragile mama's boy. I don't agree with that, but I think he's the most talented quarterback in the draft and could possibly be the best quarterback in the draft. But each to their own. D. Hayes already looking forward to Raiders' home opener in September. It's going to be insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. And we'll be live every single week next year on the Raiders Report. We'll be bringing you live action of every single game. We got you. Raider Conway, can you guys explain why Williams is a better prospect than Daniels? I might be alone in thinking Daniels is the better QB. Either way, I'm stoked for this season. Also, Raiders! <laughs> Bluey, got to do it to you. Bluey! Two shots to the dome. I'm telling you right now, what I'm about to do, I'm going to regret, especially because I see... Justin Evgen Bang! Hey, man. I don't do this often, but I have not been this happy in a long time. Honest question. Tell me the last time you were this excited about a Raiders season. If you were... The happiest, the most excited that you have been as a Raider fan. Type me right now. Type me right now because I don't know about you. I don't know about you, PJ said last year. I, I'll be honest with you. As long as Josh McDaniel's the head coach, I, it was always like I could convince myself that it was going to be good, but deep down, I think every Raider fan felt this. You're always going to root for your team. You're always going to show up on game day. It's always going to be your year. But deep, deep, deep down, you're like, I just don't believe in Josh McDaniels. So you know what? Anything is possible, Chugs. Anything is possible. We don't got a lot left. We don't got a lot left. I'm just going to warn you, it's going to get blurry. Tonight's show is going to get Blurry. blurry. How many shots do I owe? Uh, so here's my well, thing. I'm, when I'm I do gonna... when I do Henny, 20. it's 20. So you owe six. I owe six shots. Christ. <laughs> Even that, man, that's freaking brutal. Henny thing is possible. I'm ready. I'm ready. Henny's in the house. Ace Spivey, this hire screams Justin Fields. Raiders. I'll tell you what, Henny's a lot different than Fireball. Woo! I put some hair on your nipples. What are you drinking the Night Nation? What are you drinking the Night Nation? What up, Trivan? Do we have the B team in the chat tonight? Some of these chats are ridiculous. Go Raiders. What is the B chat? B team. He's saying, like, some of these people are crazy. Like, oh, we... I gotcha. I'm not kidding you. I can feel that Hennessy. I mean, it it travels, man. I can feel that in my. You're like, I can feel that in my vertebrae. Trivan, Mount Raidermore, legend. Thank you, as always. I can feel it in my butthole. All right, we're all the way caught up on super chats. Woo! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish out the show with this 50-50 oh. raffle. Last chance to get in. Let's who, go. Who wants it? 
You want in? Anthony Green! You in. Anthony Green, you are in. And then also, Scott Eckert. You in. Mr. Scott Eckert. You in. You in. Sienna, luckily, I walk to work. So I have lived walking distance to chat sports for the last probably four years. Um, just to be quite frank, I will pay the extra money in rent that it costs to live in downtown Dallas because the amount of money that I would spend on Ubers to go home, it, I was like, I'm spending $300 a month, $400 a month on Ubers. So, um, yeah, I just moved close. I can walk, so don't worry. Anybody that's like, ah, eh, I do this crazy shit, believe me when I tell you, I have built my entire life around this YouTube channel, which sounds, it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Like, I live close to work so I can walk into work when I need to be able to walk into work and when I need to be able to walk home from work. Um, I also do it because I know the closer I am, the quicker I can get to be able to do some breaking news and all that kind of stuff. Believe me when I tell you, uh, this is this is what I do, man. Like I, I love hanging out with y'all. I love being able to do what we do here and keep this thing going. My question of the nation is this, though. What? Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought you were talking to me. Paul Brewer, you are in. Paul Brewer, you are in. Let's go to Wild One. So right now, as it stands, 16 people are in our race. 16 people. I don't know what the math on that is. I don't know what the math, 16 equals four. All right, uh, right now, winner would get 500 bucks. Give me Justin Fields and leave Caleb Williams in my picks alone. In addition, that would frustrate both Mitch and Zahn, therefore entertaining me. I don't think it would frustrate me. Like, I'll tell you this right now. If the Raiders ended up with Justin Fields as their quarterback this season, as long as you don't give up your number one or your 13th overall pick, I'm not going to be mad about it. Like, to me, Justin Fields has that upside. He absolutely, positively has that upside to be a legit quarterback in the NFL. Hasn't worked out. I don't think the Bears have done the right things with him. But I do, like, to me, Justin Fields kind of gives me the Matthew Stafford vibe. Not saying that they're the same QB, but more along the lines of Stafford was a waste in Detroit. But you always knew he had talent. Goes to the right system with the right team and wins a Super Bowl. I feel like Justin Fields, when I watch him, I'm like, this guy's got a lot of talent. And I, I'm a big, like, I'm not going to sit up here and talk a lot of X's and O's with you because that's not really how I am. I'm a big, I'm an eye tester. And when I watch a guy play and I'm like, that guy's different. Justin Fields is a different level type of athlete. What if he just was always in a terrible offense run by Luke Getze behind one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL with not a lot of talent around him in a city that, let's face it, it's called the Windy City. It's a cold city. I don't think it's as easy to throw in Chicago as it is to throw in a dome in Las Vegas. My point is I would not be upset at all with Justin Fields at QB. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit, wild one. But I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. All right, Jeremy. Are you all right? Or do we need to get somebody else? Because I want to make a deal. My deal is, if somebody wants us to stay live longer, because I want to keep this thing going, but I know if you got to go, you got to go, I'm going to be able to try to find another producer. An hour. If you can't do it, I'll put in production. Can somebody come in? That's what I'm saying. So we did this before. So we did this. This was back in our, oh boy. This is back in our Josh McDaniels days, okay? I'm just being real with y'all. I'm on the hot seat a little bit with Alex, okay? She, she was like, I thought you were coming home an hour ago. Chugs, he's got to get home too. But this is why I love doing this show. I'm going to make a deal with y'all right now. $500 Venmo from one person. One person only. 
we're staying another hour live. And you get yourself a Raiders Report jersey. If you're like, Mitch, I already got a Raiders Report jersey. Well, then I'm going to give some random person in the chat right now a chance to win that jersey. The Raiders just signed Cliff Kingsbury. I'm hyped as hell. Don't get me wrong. I might be in the doghouse for this. But I love Alex to the moon and back. She gets what this job is. And when I feel this freaking good, I don't want to leave. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I love hanging out here talking with y'all. I love here being able to interact with y'all. But this is me having a real-life conversation between me and my fiance. She's going to say, Mitch, you just hung out for 30 minutes to an hour and just talked Raiders, which to you and I is a normal thing. But if you guys want to get crazy, she will 100% understand that way more. So all I'm asking is if you guys want to turn up here, I need one person for the 1,600 people watching right now that's going to step up to the plate. Doesn't need to be anybody. If you guys don't want to keep the party going, it's all good. But what I do want to say is I will stay live at least another 10 minutes, answer some questions here, hashtag Raiders or Super Chat, and if you're like, Mitch, go home. Hey, I'll go home. If not, I'm ready to party. Alex, what are your thoughts on drafting Jackson Powers Johnson at center or Zach Zinner at guard, and when is the draft the best time to grab one? All right, so I'll be honest with you. I haven't done as much research on Powers Johnson at center. I have done a lot of research on Zach Zinter. Unfortunately, Zinter, I do not anticipate, is going to be able to play this season. I think he's a hell of a leader. He was one of the top captains on that Michigan Wolverines offense. He's going to be a solid guard in the NFL, but he's not going to play this season. And for the Raiders who don't have Andre James, Greg Van Roten, or Jermaine Illuminor, I personally would say that I don't know if you can take a risk on a guy like Zinter. I've, I've mock drafted him before, but I've taken him based on me thinking that I'm at least going to be able to resign one of those guys. What up, Raider Conway? Mitch, can you explain why Williams is a better prospect than Daniels? I'm genuinely curious. Upside. To me, it's upside. And when you look at arm talent, like Caleb Williams has a better fastball. If, if they were pitchers, Caleb Williams is throwing 98. Jaden Daniels throwing 95. Though, I do think Jaden has a better deep ball. Caleb Williams also is a little bit of a thicker quarterback. Like, I'm more scared about Jaden Daniels getting injured than I am Caleb Williams getting injured. Yes, Jaden's the taller athlete. Caleb's actually a little bit short for most NFL quarterbacks. But when I think about the upside of Caleb Williams, that's why he might be the better prospect. If you're an NFL coach and you go, I can turn anybody, which here's the problem, Every single NFL coach has a big ego and thinks that they can turn that quarterback into the greatest quarterback ever. You look at a player like Caleb Williams, you're like, that guy has a lot to work with. He's got a stronger arm. He can throw from multiple angles. He's mobile with his legs. Not a runner, but he's mobile with his legs. He can extend plays. He can throw to every single place on the field. He's accurate. He's got a strong arm. Got a good deep ball. You look at a lot, a lot of those things, and you think that you can get it. Because if you can refine Caleb Williams' mechanics, like, Josh Allen coming out of college of Wyoming was not that great of a quarterback prospect. I mean, he had the upside, but the floor was really low. He was able to refine his mechanics, and now he's freaking Josh Allen. If you're the Raiders and you look at a guy like Caleb Williams, you go, I can fix that guy's mechanics. Then you got a chance, man. That's why. Jesse, Daniels, Williams, Fields ranked them from first to last. We had our choice at three. If, if it's the Raiders, I think it goes Jaden Daniels, Caleb Williams, and then Justin Fields. That's based on Antonio Pierce. If it's Cliff Kingsbury, I think it's Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Justin Fields. Raider Nation, this needs to be done with. Can't wait for the season to start back up. I'm going to keep saying this. We need a vet quarterback, no rookies. I'll disagree. L.I., I'm with Wild One. I'm an Ohio State fan. Right system and solid trenches. We are solid. Wow. I hope so, man. I'm going to look here real quick. Real, real quick here to see who else is in because holy tits. We got a lot more people that are in for this 50-50 raffle. Steve Crawford, you in. We got John Pol Polito. I got Steve, okay. Robert Montgomery, you in. 20 people are in as it stands right now. 
Winner gets 600 on Venmo. Five or five. Fifty dollars Venmo at Mitchell Ren three six five for a chance to get in to win six hundred. All right, Avgen, I see you. I see you, Avgen. Avgen, believe me, you don't ever have to apologize. Acquire Justin Fields. Trade Adams for the tenth overall pick. Trade ten and thirteen to move up to draft Marvin Harrison Jr. I think it's a horrible idea. Like. Yes, you're getting a younger receiver. And I think Marvin Harrison Jr., man, he he might I think he's good enough to be like a Devontae Adams life level type of receiver. But why are you trading up to get a receiver? Like I don't I don't get it. Like, yeah, you get Justin Fields. But where are you gonna trade up? Because here's the other problem. Ten and thirteen to move up to pick. I don't know if it's enough. It probably will be because it's the 2024 draft. It, it might be enough. But what if it's not? Because based on trade value alone, I, don't, I can't guarantee you that it is. So then you got to add, let's say, I don't know, a third round pick to be able to go up and get your guy. Uh, I'm not going to do it. Marvin Harrison Jr. ain't falling out of the top four. I'm not trading up for a wide receiver. What is AP contract details? Same with Cliff. Unfortunately, they have not been released yet. If I'm the Raiders, though, I would have given Antonio Pierce a three-year deal, and I would have let him work with that. But unfortunately, I, I do not know what the deal is yet. I would tie Antonio Pierce to Max Crosby. If Max Crosby's got three years left on his deal, he gets a three-year contract. That's what I do. I go, Max, you want this guy? We wanted this guy. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, Drake May. I mean, you guys know I love Drake May. I'm a, I'm a big, big Drake May fan. That ain't no secret. All right, y'all. Here's the thing. Final call. This is your final, final call to get into the Venmo. And if you want to extend this show for another hour, I already told you the price. $500 Venmo. It's a big one. It's a hefty one. A big spicy meet the ball. But you know what? You extend the show for another hour for the nation. Shit gets crazy. And I mean crazy, crazy. <sighs> and also you're going to give somebody another jersey. I think that's pretty freaking dope. I think that's pretty freaking dope. So Brian Howell, you in. So now Brian Howell is in. Which means $50 Venmo, you have an opportunity to make $625. $50 Venmo to win $625. Jason Martinez in. Winner gets $650. Amy, you in. Winner gets $675. Dude, this is going to be... Not like in a tent, but like in tents. Let's run this. Andrew Conway. Yeah, in. Winner gets $700. $50 Venmo. Final call, Chugs. And probably my final. I'm not going to lie. That Henny. I'll tell you what. Oh, dude, Vegas is going to be a movie. Vegas is going to be a flipping movie. Giovanni Tejada, you're in. Gary Chubb, in. $50 Venmo to win right now, $750. Because remember, I'm adding an extra 100 Jorge, in. Jorge, oh man, I'm not going to lie. I just, my heart sank a little bit. Raider Ron, you in. I saw Ron with 5-0, and I was like, no effing way. I mean, if there's a crazy guy to do it on here, it's probably the guy that's got my his name tatted on my leg. That's insane. Rafael Murillo, you in. 29. 
Again, y'all, if you want to pull up and party with Chugs and I in Las Vegas for the big game, Chiefs, Niners, here's the details, okay? You got to go to the link. Chugs is going to put it for you guys down in the comments, and it's down in the description of the show. Chatsports.com slash big game. You put the link down here. You're good. To reserve a spot, chatsports.com slash big game, okay? It is 100% free to enter. You can get in, kid-friendly, all that. If you let your kid watch Raider Sport, let them pull up here. Happy hour passes, all you can eat, all you can drink for $99. VIP pass, all you can eat, all you can drink with a better opportunity to get on the Raider Sport. I'm just being real with you. It's a better opportunity to get on the Raider Sport. I told them to get boots, so there's going to be boots there. Y'all are going to be able to take boots with us, shots with us. We're going to be pouring drinks out. It's going to be an awesome time. There's TVs in there. You're going to be able to watch the game. But if you enjoy watching what Chugs and I do here, let's do it in person. And if this event goes well, if this event goes well, we'll be able to do Raiders games next season in Las Vegas every single game day. So wait a minute. So I'll sign Fluhi's arm. Fluhi in. I'm freaking in, Fluhi. Here's the thing, though. I'll get. I'll also get a tattoo that I've been wanting to get for a long time. I'll get one with you. I've been wanting to get 1957 tattooed on my ring finger. I came up with a really cool idea, and all my cousins one night they went out and got it. And I'm a little. I, I want to get it. 1957 tattooed on my ring finger. It's when my grandparents got married. It's the most real love that I've ever known. Kingsbury higher screams Justin Fields. I think he sent that in three times as well. He might be a little bit, he might be a little bit of a spivey meatball. Sir Chai, happy to keep Patrick Graham and get Kingsbury. This team is moving in the right direction, man. This team is moving in the right direction, and it makes me a very, very happy camper. Rafael Morello, I think I already said that you're in. Steven Underwood, you in. All right, so what's all right, hang on. Let me do the math. Let me do the math. Okay. Divided by that. $50 Venmo to win $850. This one's getting hefty, Chuggy Bull. This one is getting a this one's getting hefty. Yeah, if anybody loves their grandparents' love, just get that tattooed on your ring finger. I've been wanting to do it for a long night. Long long time. Scott Eckert in. What's that now? I already forget. I literally already forget. That divided by 2 plus 100. Winner now gets 875. Winner gets 875. All right, Jeremy. I'm uh I'm going to do this. Nope. Not so fast. Try van. Winner gets 900. I'm going to send this list right now to Jeremy. What up, Jimmy? Does Cliff work with Justin Fields, and do they hire? I don't know what that means. I don't, I don't know what this last word is. Familiarity. Oh. I was going to say, I'm like, I don't, I don't know where you're going with this. Um. I do think it's a possibility. Again, I, I've already said, I think Justin Fields can absolutely fit. And earlier you told me to send it to you. Mm -hmm. It's all coming back. It's it's all coming back. I think it'd be a good move, honestly. I, if the Raiders ended up with Justin Fields, I would not be upset at all. And I said it, you know, I mean, I, I said it a few months, two months ago at this point. I spoke with multiple Raiders players. And they wanted Justin Fields. One player even told me Justin Fields is better than any guy in the draft. Like, take that with a grain of salt because I don't agree with it. But I do know that there are a lot of players in that locker room that want Justin Fields, that want to be able to keep those draft picks now for Tom Telesco, who has done a good job in the draft, plus with Champ Kelly at assistant GM. I Just the way that this Raiders team is being built, it would not surprise me even in the slightest. All right, I do got to add a few more people. I'm going to text you their names. Robin in. I got another one for Trivan. You in. And then Brian Terry in. 
Brian Terry. Yep, one person. Yep, two first names for Brian Terry. All right. So what is that at? 35. What does that math math out to be? 35. That. Two. Plus 100. We got to get one more. We got to get one more. One more person in, and that's it. Anything else? Am I tripping? All right, put Avgen in. That's fine. We'll allow it. Avgen's the bang MVP. Oh, he is. That makes sense. All right, here we go. Winner gets $1,000. I'm not adding anybody else in. If you send in a Venmo, it's just going in Chuck's fund to go to Barkley. Ugh. It's Fluhi. You got to let Fluhi in. You got to let. All right, that's it. Nobody else. Nobody else. No, Fluhi, I'll allow in. Winner gets $1,025. Whoever wins this duck race, going home with $1,025. Three. Two, go! Good luck to everybody in this race. Is there just me or is there a... <clears throat> what is that? You don't see that on screen? Your cursor's on screen. Ah! They can't see it? No, all right. <laughs> Jeremy's cursor was like right here. I'm like, I don't know if they can see it, but it's right there. It's going to be, somebody's going to go back and look at that. It's like, is this guy swatting at a fly? David Perez in the lead with Brian Terry. Watch out for Gary Chai. Winner gets 1,025 doll hairs. Paul Brewer now in the lead. Jason Martinez here in an interesting spot. Mr. Fluhi. Fluhi, I always knew. I always knew. Patrick B, watch out for him. Scott Eckert's got, i tell you what, Scott pulled out all the stops. I don't know who this name is right here. Conway, watch out for Andrew Conway. Is it going to be Andrew Conway? Is that a first time win for Andrew? Hang on, Andrew. Hang on, Andrew. Hang on. Is this Andrew's first time winning? I think it is. Wow. First time winner. Congrats. And who gets the butthole pick? Andrew Conway, I need you to confirm down below that you just received $1,025. Andrew Conway, I need you to confirm that you just received $1,025. Who's that? Oh, do you think Justin Fields could run Cliff's offense? Yes. Yes, I do. Luis, at work lunch break, just found out we got Cliff LFG working the night shift. Lunch break for Luis at this time. Shout out to you, Luis. Real Cowboy, finally an OC. Let's go. Raiders! Dude, F, did, did, they, did they confirm down below yet? I don't know if I see it. Yeah, that's true. They might not even be here. Oh, Raider Conway, bro. What the hell? Yes, I absolutely did. Shout out to Raider Conway. Bro, just won $1,025. That's freaking awesome, man. That is freaking awesome, man. All right, y'all. This is going to be your final time. If you want to extend this show for another hour, $500 Venmo right now. If not, hey, man, Bon Voyage. We got Cliff freaking Kingsbury as our OC. We're going to be live tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time. And if you don't know what Fridays are, Fridays are happy hour. Fridays are an absolute shit show. They are crazy shows just like this, and I try to let my hair down a little bit. Okay? What? And yes, Allie is live on Lakers right now. And uh, Crash Dog said, just heard about the hire. There you go. Crash Dog watching all of our shows. Crash Dog watching all of our shows. 
Yeah, you can put the link in there. If you guys want to go chill with Allie, she is uh, one of our hosts here at Chat Sports, and you want to keep this party rolling with her, Chuck's is going to put the link for you guys down in the... I'll tell you this right now. If y'all want to get Allie really effed up, I'll make you a deal right now, okay? As soon as this live stream ends, I'll go over there for a few minutes. Her drinking deals, you can really F her up. What's the beer bong over there? It's like 20 bucks. Yeah, it's... I'm just saying. If you want to put... I was going to I can't even say that. Let's go party over on Lakers. I'm ready to get weird. Uh, Raider Nation 5-1. Yes, that is barefoot. Correct. So here's how I'm going to end this show. I'm a happy camper, man. I'm a, I'm a very, very, very happy camper. Raiders got Cliff Kingsbury. It's a good day for the nation from top to bottom. Congrats to Andrew Conway for getting $1,025. But remember, if you want to party with Jeremy Chuggs and I in Las Vegas for the big game, that's the link down there below, chatsports.com slash big game. All you can eat, all you can drink, 99. If you want to get on the show, I would recommend the 149 option. It's free to get in. Bring the fam. I'm ready to meet the fam. I'm ready to keep partying with the fam. Cheers to the nation. We got Cliff Kingsbury. I love each and every one of y'all. Chugs, I, I'm going to do this because we do it for this type of shows. I'm going to need you here. And it's that time of the night. And anytime we do a crazy show, anytime we do a crazy show, and damn it, I felt like tonight some shit's happening over there. And I feel like any time a crazy show happens, Sienna already knows it. And it's closing time. Open up the doors and let you out into the world. Closing time. Turn on all the lights all over every boy and every girl. Closing time. One last call for alcohol, so finish your whiskey or beer. Closing time. You, you don't, don't have, have to go, go home, home, but you can go yeah. to the Lakers yeah. report. I'm going to go over there and do some beer box with Allie. Because I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. Take me home. Hey, y'all, I love partying with y'all. I love hanging out with y'all. And if you want to party with us in person, even if you just want to meet, the more people I can shake hands with, the more people I can have that face-to-face -face interaction with, y'all know what I look like. Y'all know what Chugs look like. But to really take that family friendship to a next level, I love meeting people in the nation. So if you rock with Chugs and I, believe me when I tell you this, this is probably the biggest opportunity that we have ever had to take this show to a next level. I want to be able to party with each and every one of y'all every single Raiders game day next season. And if we pull up and we rally together the same way we did to get that clown fire, Josh McDaniels, F that guy still, we are going to be oh, able it, to do that. Is it done? We are going to be able to do that. They might be. You want to go over to Knicks? I'll yeah. go over to Knicks. Oh, I guess they just I guess they just finished. Oh, brutal. Go over to Knicks. We'll go over to Knicks. <laughs> we tried. We I mean, tried. I'll put the Knicks chat in there. Put the Knicks in there. Let's go over to the Knicks chat. They're still alive. They're still vibing. I know you gotta go. I can party for a little bit longer <laughs> over on Knicks. But oh, seriously. It's, it's, it's Marshall's What? Arch rival. Marshall's arch rival? Tyrese Halliburton. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, Jeremy's going to go put our Knicks channel down in the comments. There we go. And I'm going to go over there. For those that don't know, I am a Knicks fan. So uh, I'm going to go over there and party with them if you want to keep partying with me. But I mean this. If you love what Jeremy and I do, reserve a spot. If you're like, man, I can't even go to Las Vegas, tell your friends, tell your family, anybody you think is going to be in Las Vegas, if we kill this event, I promise you this, what we do on the Raiders Report it's going to go to a whole new level next year. And it's going to benefit y'all so much. The giveaways, season tickets, I've been told we're going to give away. Like, we're going to be able to give away so much shit next year. If this event goes well, it's going to totally change the game. So from me, from Jeremy Chuggs, I'm going to go party over on Knicks. Raiders hired Cliff Kingsbury. I love each and every one of y'all. And can I get a raise?